Yo, what's up guys, Shiv here. So as you see, we have the Samsung Odyssey Arc, this gigantic screen. It's a 55 inch, 165 hertz refresh rate with one millisecond GTG response times. 1000 radius curved, 4K resolution screen. It's absolutely crazy. So as you see for today's video, we're gonna have the over the shoulder shot. So you guys can see my POV playing on this Samsung Odyssey Arc itself, this gigantic screen. So obviously guys, right now you see the gaming screen itself is rotated vertically. You can also rotate this 90 degrees to be horizontal as well. So you can orient the screen horizontally and also use that for different purposes as well. So I'll, I'll show you guys and we'll check it out. So okay. let's say you're playing on like PC or console, right? And you want to play on like a controller. You can rotate this horizontally um, and play from afar, right? With the controller. But not only that, you can also play on a PC with mouse and keyboard up close like this in the vertical mode with the one third of the screen being your gaming screen, right? So you can orient the screen how you want, set the screen up how you want as well so that you can use different portions and parts of the screen to your liking, right? So it is great. There's a lot of um, versatility and uh, ways you can set this up. So, all right guys, so we're gonna be playing some Apex on the Samsung Odyssey Arc itself here while in vertical mode. But just before we do that, I'm going to show you a function which can be controlled by the Arc dial here, which I'll explain later on in the video. Um, it's a function called multi-view. Now, okay, so let me show you guys. Hopefully you can see on the lower third of the screen, okay, with the arc dial, press a button, it'll show up the dial here. You can move to the right one and there'll be a multi-view function. And what that will do is it will allow me to use the entire screen um, and game on the screen, on the bottom third of the screen, but also be able to use the other two thirds of the screen for other things. Let's say you want a browser, um, like, you know, you want like a, a, your Twitch dashboard up at the same time or anything, or, you know, you want, uh, anything, any browser, you know, um, any website, whatever. And then you got like, um, you can use the top third or you, you can control how you want it, but you can have another third where you have like YouTube as well. Um, you know, so you can watch YouTube videos and you can game at 120 hertz while using this multi-view feature. So it's, it's insane. Let me show you guys. So we got multi-view, I'm gonna click on it. Boom, there we go. Now it's, it's letting me know there's some layouts, uh, recent layouts I can do, because I already set some up, stuff up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have YouTube on the top third, I'm gonna have the internet browser on the second third, and then on the bottom third, I'm gonna have the desktop or PC um, like gaming screen, you know? So I'm gonna click on that now, and it's gonna set up itself here. Okay, so as you guys see on the top third of the screen, we have YouTube, we have Twitch or, you know, your browser source on the second uh, third of the screen and the bottom third of the screen I have my desktop or this is uh, what I'm going to be gaming on. So, you know, with multi-view, you can use the Samsung Odyssey Arc just like this. You can game while in multi-view like this at 120 hertz. So phenomenal. Let's um, try it out. But yeah, let me let me show you guys uh, a close up. All right, so, as you see, let's get a close up. I right, mean, we've got YouTube on the top third. It's our YouTube channel. We got some Twitch there, as you see, on the second third. And then we've got our desktop there. So, as you guys see, we have the Samsung Odyssey RK configured in its multi view mode while in a vertical orientation. As you guys see at the top, we have a YouTube video playing from our channel, of course. Uh, on the second third of the screen, we have a browser source. Right now, I've just got Twitch open on it. And for the gameplay scene here, we've just got our game from the PC, whatever, maybe console, PC, whatever you're playing on. While in multi-view function right now, with multiple sources and windows up, you guys can play at 120 hertz. So still an amazing um, refresh rate to play at. While gaming, got one spotted.
guys that is some gameplay on the samsung odyssey arc while the screen is in vertical orientation and in multi-view mode also so there you go guys the samsung odyssey arc crazy while gaming at 120 hertz uh refresh rate i can also have a browser source i can have youtube up at the same time as well freaking amazing and if you, you choose not to use multi-view, if you just want a game on this, then you can play at the maximum refresh rate of 165 hertz. So, amazing either way, guys. Check it out. we got the Samsung Odyssey Arc here. We're going to be changing the screen now to the horizontal orientation and playing on a controller from afar now. Okay, so. Guys, so, for now, I'm going to rotate the screen so that we have the screen in a horizontal orientation. Um, so, by the way... Guys, how they tell you to rotate the screen, you have to do it from behind. Um, you have to do it from behind this entire screen, right? I'm going to do it from the front, okay? I'm also going to put the camera to show the back of the um, entire unit here itself. 
So let me just show you here real quick, guys. Get to the back of this screen here. Okay, guys, so as you see, we've got the screen there. It's, um, that's the back of the screen. Just ignore the wires, okay? My cable management isn't, isn't great, but, uh, this will have to do for now. So what I will do is I will tilt this screen forward like so a little bit so that it doesn't hit the box at the bottom the one connect box and then we have to rotate this screen like so and we can rotate it horizontally or into a horizontal orientation like so until it clicks down of course guys when you when you actually move this screen though you should, you should actually be behind it not in front like i'm doing so but um yeah, we'll, we'll make do with what we have. Okay guys, so we have rotated the Samsung Odyssey Arc in its horizontal orientation now. We're going to attempt to play some games on a controller while playing on the Samsung Odyssey Arc. We're playing on PC right now, although you can connect a console via the Samsung One Connect box as well that comes with it. So you guys can play on not only PC, but also console as well. Let's check out this Do the best we can. Yeah, that's so, the colors are amazing, the clarity is crazy, everything about this screen is just uh, guys oh, we were beaming oh my gosh guys no. don't judge my controller skills okay i don't play much on controller we tried our best though but that is the samsung on cr we're being able to play on it in a horizontal orientation at 4k resolution as well 165 hertz refresh rate as well absolutely crazy but that is it guys we played on pc with the screen in vertical orientation as you would on a mouse and keyboard up close and then from a far 4k resolution playing on a controller far away with the screen in horizontal orientation playing on pc still but on a controller uh, but you can also hook up a console as we said earlier to the samsung of the arc itself so perfect for everything guys that is it legendary screen oh my gosh And not only are there the specifications that we talked about earlier, the 55 inch, 165 hertz, 1000 radius curved, 4K resolution, 
gaming screen as it is, there are also many other features and functions to the Samsung Odyssey Arc so that you can customize and set up the way you exactly want it to be. With a lot more features here that I'm going to talk to you about in a second. And as you guys know, there's also the Arc Dial, which is a solar powered remote or control panel, I guess you can say, for the Samsung Odyssey Arc. This is where you can change all your settings um, at the touch of a button. So you can get your quick settings here. As you see, you have all your settings, uh, picture settings, sound settings, uh, connection, uh, so network connection and external devices. Uh, management of that uh, we also have the game settings as well so we have a game mode that helps with improved performance when using a console we have response time as well which accelerates the panel's response rate um, for a more responsive video there's the AI sound booster there's the settings as well like the dynamic black equalizer HDR tone mapping there's display mode as well where you can change it from portrait to landscape mode depending on how you want to orient the screen also so yeah there's a lot of settings here you can change um, there's also that's the sources actually you can also move the screen around with flex move screen there's a home which will take you to the home page or the home screen of the Samsung Odyssey Arc itself and there's also the game bar which will give you your um, settings the settings for gaming that you can change also um, so you've got stuff like your response time, the game picture mode, screen ratio, you know, aspect ratio, and active ambience of the, the screen at the back itself. So that is that. This is ArcDAL used to control such things. One of the other features of the Samsung Odyssey Arc being the eclipse lighting, whereby as you see on the back of the screen here, guys, there's this ambient eclipse lighting, which you can turn off at the touch of a button. So on the Arc Dial here, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go to the game bar like so through the arc dial and then I'm going to turn the eclipse lighting off and as you can see you can also turn this eclipse lighting off the bar at the back of the screen and customize that how you wish. There's also sound dome technology whereby you have four speakers on each side or each corner of the screen and two central woofers to produce a 60 watt 2.2.2 channel with the lowest 45 hertz notes of any gaming screen or sound bar so uh, we have amazing sound quality guys with the speakers and this surrounding immersive soundscape that teleports you into the game all the audio everything right there absolutely legendary speakers there as well there is also HDR10 Plus Gaming so that you guys can see all the details in game in all of its glory from all the shadows to the, the brightest of lights, the amazing contrast and enhanced color expression and depth will give you a crazy visual for you guys to see and experience. Along with a neural quantum processor, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro support, Quantum Matrix technology finished off with a clean matte display Sega film super anti-glare anti-reflection film so you guys don't have to worry about glare or reflections um, on the screen so that you guys can just focus on what you need to and not be distracted by any so here guys that is the Samsung Odyssey Arc I'm gonna put a link in the description so that you guys can purchase um, and yeah, that is it guys. I mean, you're able to play on PC, console, you can play on controller from afar, in horizontal orientation, vertical orientation if you're up close like this, using one third of the screen, uh, with the mouse and keyboard, you know, playing like that. You can have multiple windows, sources, screens on at the same time, and you know, you can set up the screen as you wish in six different ways. It's crazy. You can customize and change and set this up as you wish guys it's crazy for multitasking for a workstation uh, doing multiple things at once so yeah guys check it out we got the samsung odyssey arc absolute innovation to gaming screens there it is guys